Today we will see about cephalosporin. Already we have known it is a beta lactam antibiotic. Now we will see the source of cephalosporin. If it is a natural cephalosporin, it can be obtained from the mold called cephalosporium acrimonium and it is a semi-synthetic one means it can be obtained from cephalosporin C. So what is cephalosporin C? It is the first antibiotic of cephalosporin family. Now we will see the nomenclature of cephalosporin. So for this sepum ring no, that is the basic nucleus for cephalosporin. Already we have known the basic nucleus for penicillin that is called penum ring. For this one this is called sepum ring. So look at this one this is called as thiazin ring that is having two bonds. Okay. Now come to this. This ring is similar to thiazin ring but it is not having any bond that is why it is called tetrahydro. Here it is having two bonds that two bonds are left here or not present here that is why for a bond we have to add two hydrogens. So two bonds for four hydrogens we have to add that is why it is called tetrahydrothiazin ring. So that one is fused with a beta lactam ring. So what is meant by sepum ring? It is a fusion now beta lactam ring with tetrahydrothiazin ring. So that is why it is called it is a saturated bicyclic system not having any bond that is why saturated bicyclic system with lactam carbonyl group. Okay. Now we can tell the chemical name of sepum. Okay. So here first portion we have sulfur and fifth one we have nitrogen that is why 1 thia 5 aza 2 rings that is why bicyclo here according to that this end is uh, this end is having 4 groups. So according to that this end is having 2 groups here nothing would be added that is why 4 2 0. 4 to 0 totally 8 atoms are present here 8 that is why octane and 8th portion is having ketone so 8 one. So what is the chemical name 1 thia 5 is a bicyclo 4 2 0 octane 8 one. So that is the chemical name for C pump ending with AM. Now we will see for C pump. So, it is having one bond between 3 and 4 that is called a sepum. So, what is sepum? It is a fusion of beta lactam ring with dihydrothiazin ring because only one bond is left for a thiazin that is why it is called dihydrothiazin ring. So, its chemical name is 1 thia 5 is a bicyclo so again 4, 4, 2, 0, oct 3 in bond is present between 3 and 4 that is why 3 in 8 one. So, that is the chemical name for sepum. Now, we will see cephalosporanic acid. So, other than sepum, it is having acetoxy methyl in third portion and carboxylic acid in fourth portion. So, that is for cephalosporanic acid. So, what is the chemical name according to sepum? So, it is called 3 acetoxy methyl sepum 4 carboxylic acid that is for cephalosporanic acid. Now we will see for 7 amino cephalosporanic acid. So, 7th portion we have it is having amino group that is why it is called 7 amino cephalosporanic acid. So, this is the active nucleus of cephalosporin. Already we have seen active nucleus for penicillin that is 6 amino penicillinic acid but for cephalosporin it is 7 amino cephalosporanic acid. Now we will see the structure of cephalosporin C. So we have known this is called cephalosporanic acid and in 7th portion this group would be added. So we have to tell the name according to cephalosporanic acid. So before that first look at this one this is called adipic acid CH2 4 times and 2 ends are connected by means of COOH. 2 COOH that is called adipic acid. So, without NH2 this is called adipic acid. Okay. So, here NH2 is connected with the alpha carbon of adipic acid that is why it is called alpha amino adipic acid and this acid no that combines with NH2 of this portion to form an amide that is why totally can be called alpha amino this is adipic amino. So, what is attached in the 7th portion that is called alpha amino adipic amino. So, we can tell the chemical name according to that. So, what is that? First we can tell according to sepum ring. So, according to sepum we have to tell the 3 substituents. So, 3, 4 and 7. Okay. So, the chemical name is 3 acetoxy methyl 7 alpha amino adipic amino sepum 4 carboxylic acid. Or we can tell the chem we can include the chemical name of sepum that is 3 acetoxy methyl 7 alpha amino adipic amino 8 oxo 1 thia 5 aza bicyclo 4 2 0 oct 3 e 4 carboxylic acid. 
Otherwise, already we have known what is valeric acid. Pentanoic acid is otherwise called valeric acid. So, CH3, CH2, 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 COH. This is called valeric acid. Instead of acid, we have amide means that is called valeroamide or valeramide. Okay. So, uh, with the fifth carbon by, uh, that is having three hydrogens. No, so, two hydrogens are replaced by means of amino group and COH group. So, that can, uh, that can be this one. So, here this is called valeramide. So, with the valeramide, this is the fifth carbon. So, fifth carbon is connected with NH2 and COH. So, that can be called 5 amino 5 carboxy valeramide. So, that is attached in the seventh portion. So, instead of writing that uh, alpha amino adipic amino, we can write 7 open bracket 5 amino 5 carboxy 5 amino 5 carboxy valeramido. So, that is all. So, that is the chemical name of cephalosporin C. Now we will see the stereochemistry of cephalosporin. So, for the stereochemistry we, we need chiral carbons. So, uh, we have to find where the chiral carbons are. So, this portion second first one not having carbon and second one having carbon but two identical hydrogens that is why it is not a chiral one and third and fourth are connected by means of a double bond. So, that is why these two are not chiral and fifth one having nitrogen and look at sixth one one in this group one in this group one in this group and one hydrogen so all are different four are different that's why this is a chiral carbon so similarly seventh no that is connected with this group this one this one and h so this is a chiral this is also a chiral one and look at eighth that is connected to oxygen by means of double bond so not four groups are attached here that's why it is not a chiral one so only sixth carbon and seventh carbon are chiral carbons present in cephalosporin that's why the absolute stereochemistry is 6r and 7r now we'll see the classification and structure of cephalosporin the cephalosporin that can be classified based on generation into five types that is first generation second third fourth and fifth one now we'll see the first generation so, this would be the general structure for all this. So, what is that? Fusion of two rings that is beta lactam ring with dihydrothiazine ring and fourth one it is having COOH group and third one it is connected with R1 and in seventh one RCONH. So, depending on the groups attached with R and R1 it would be classified. Now, we will see the first one that is called as cephalexin. So, what is cephalexin? In the case of R what is attached? This we have known benzene ring with CH2 is called benzyl. So, this carbon is called alpha carbon that is why it is called alpha amino benzyl. So, in the place of R what is attached for cephalexin? Alpha amino benzyl and in the case of R1 what is attached? Methyl group is attached. And next one is cephrodin. Here phenyl ring is not attached. Instead of phenyl what is attached? This is called cyclohexadiene but that would be 1,4. So, what is that 1,4 cyclohexadiene? So, instead of phenyl here 1,4 cyclohexadiene is attached. Other points would be the same for cephrodin. Okay. Next one is cephadroxyl. Cephadroxyl is same as that of cephalexin but the benzyl group no that is connected with hydroxy group in para portion that is why it is called alpha amino para hydroxy benzyl and R1 is same as that of cephalexin and next one is cephalothin or ceph cephalothin what is attached that is having a thiophene nucleus and that is connected with the methyl and in the case of R1 that is acetoxy acetyloxymethyl. And next one is cephapirin. For cephapirin, pyridin is attached. Pyrin for that is why pyridin and that is connected with SCH2. Simply SH no that can be called as sulfonyl group. S, S no so this that is called sulfonyl. Sulfonyl is connected with methyl that is why it is methyl sulfonyl and that is connected with pyridin. Here azitoxy methyl. And next one is cephaloridin. For cephaloridin, same as that of cephalothin. Same as that of cephalothin that is having thiophene and second portion that is connected with methyl. But in the case of R1 that is connected with methyl pyridinium ion. So, this is a pyridinium ion that is why that is acting as a sweeter ion that is existing as a sweeter ion. Next one is cephazolin. So, what is attached here in the case of R? 4, 4 nitrogens that is why tetra, tetraza and it is a 5 bond one that is why it should end with zole. So, that is why it is called tetrazole. Numbers would be 1, 2, 3, 4. So, that is why it is called 1, 2, 3, 4 tetrazole and the first nitrogen is connected with methyl 
and in the case of R1 what is attached this is called as thiadiazole, thiadiazole we have to tell the positions 1, 2, 3. So, uh, 3, 4. So, 1, 3, 4 thiadiazole and second position is connected with methyl and fifth one is connected with SCH2. So, these are all about first generation cephalosporins. What are they? They are called cephalexin, cephradin, cephadroxyl, cephalothin, cephaparin, cephaloridin and cephazolin. Now, we will see second generation cephalosporins. So, in that the first drug is called cephaclo that is having same structure as that of cephalexin we have seen in first generation. So, same as that of that in R but in the case of R1 that one is having methyl but this is having chlorine that is why it is called cephaclor and next one is cephoproxyl, cephoproxyl that is having similar R group in cephadroxyl, cephadroxyl also having the same thing in the case of R. But in the case of R1 that is having methyl but this one is having propylene and next one is cephamandol this is for cephamandol. So, what is present alpha carbon is having hydroxy though so that is why it is called alpha hydroxy benzyl that is for R and in the case of R1 what is attached already we have seen this is called as 1, 2, 3, 4 tetrazole. The first carbon is having methyl and the fifth one is having connect fifth one is connected with SCH2. And next one is cephonazid, um, cephonazid no same as the top the earlier one cephamandol or is same and here this is also same but here it is connected first nitrogen is connected with CH3 no but here one hydrogen is replaced by means of sulfonic acid that is all. So, that is the only difference here first nitrogen is connected with methyl here instead of one hydrogen here this is connected with sulfonic acid. So, next one is called sephoranide. So, what is sephoranide? Benzyl is attached and the second carbon is connected with amino methyl group. And here, this is same as that of cephamandol. So, cephamandol is having a methyl group in first nitrogen. So, here same methyl, but here one hydrogen is replaced by means of carboxylic acid. Next one is cefuroxime. CNO that is called as imine. So, the imine nitrogen O that is connected with methoxy group and this carbon is connected with the furan. So, that is for cefuroxime. Here in the case of R1 what is attached? Amino carbonyl oxymethyl is attached. Next one is cefixitin. So, cefixitin what is attached? Thiophen and second carbon is connected with methyl. But here what is attached? that is amino carbonyl oxy methyl group is attached but one more difference by oh, that is called seventh portion is having methoxy group and next one is called cephotitan. So, cephotitan that is having a four membered heterocyclic ring that is having two sulphurs already we have known uh, four membered heterocyclic ring with one sulphur that can be called thiotane. We have seen four membered heterocyclic ring with nitrogen that is called as acetidin. So, acetidin Instead of nitrogen we have sulfur means that is called as thiotane, but this one is having two sulfurs at 1, 3 that is why it is called 1, 3 thiotane. So, with the 1, 3 thiotane what is attached? Second portion is attached. Second portion is attached with the CONH and here no uh, this fourth one is connected to this one. This is called 3 carbons that is why this is called propane and first and third is connected with O that is oxo group. So, 1,3-dioxo propane and this is first is connected with amino group. So, 1 amino, 3 hydroxy, 1,3-dioxo propane and these two know that are connected by means of double bond and here the propane second carbon of propane is connected with thiotin, thiotin by means of double bond that is why 2 elidine indicating the double bond 2 elidine this is for R. And in the case of R1 what is attached already we have known this is called as 1, 2, 3, 4 tetrazole ring and first is having methyl and second is having sulfonyl methyl. And the last drug under first second generation is Lora Carbif. So, what is attached in the case of R? For R it is alpha amino benzyl and in the case of R1 chlorine is attached. One more difference is usually here we have first portion is have all the drugs we have seen you know, they are having sulfur in the first portion, but this is not having sulfur instead of sulfur that is having CH2. So, these are all coming under second generation. Now, once again we will see only the examples that is called cephaclor, cefprozil, cephamandol, cephonizid, 
and sephoronine, sephuroxime, uh, cephixitin uh, and cephotitin, lora carbef. Now we will see third generation cephalosporin. So the first recommended third generation is cephotoxime. So what is attached in the, in the place of R? We have a thiazole nucleus and second portion is connected with the amino group. And this one is connected with the amino carbon, carbon of amino group. And that nitrogen no, that is connected with the methoxy group. And in the case of R1, what is attached? Acetoxy methyl group. And next one is cephixime. So cephixime same as it of that here instead of one nitrogen what is attached carboxylic acid is attached and here that is connected with the vinyl group and third one is ceftizoxime ceftizoxime is say R is same as it of cephotoxime and here R1 R1 simply it is having hydrogen next one is ceftrioxone that is also R is same as it of the earlier one and here what is attached in R1 here we have known this is called Six membered ring that is why it should end with INE okay? and three nitrogens at 1, 3, 4 that is why 1, 3, 4 triazine and that is having oxoglucan 5 and 6 that is why it is called 5, 6 dioxo tetrahydro triazine because triazine is having three bonds here two bonds would be left um, that is why it is called tetrahydro I mean 5, 6 dioxo tetrahydro 1, 3, 4 triazine and on the second portion that is connected with methyl sorry not second one third one third one is connected with methyl and um, the second one is connected with the CH2SH next drug is ceftazidin ceftazidin so here this is same as the top this one suffix sign here it is connected with CH2 no instead of two hydrogens two methyl would be attached and here in the case of R1 methyl pyridinium group would be added Next one is cephoperazone. So here what is added? Para hydroxy benzyl is added with the alpha carbon what is attached amino group and that with carbonyl and that one with this is called piperazine ring and this is uh, 1, 2, 3, 3, uh, 2, 3 dioxo 4 methyl piperazine ring that is added with that and here what is attached? This we have known 1, 2, 3, 4 tetrazole. First nitrogen is connected with methyl and fifth portion is connected with SCH2. And the next last one under this is uh, cephivitril. So for cephivitril what is attached? Cyano group is attached that is added with ethanol and that is added with SCH2. Here same as that of the earlier one. So these are all coming under third generation cephalosporin. Now we will see only the examples under that. Cephotoxime, cephixime, ceftizoxime, ceftrioxone. Ceftazidine, Cefperazone and uh, Cefivitril.